Good morning. I'm Arthur Whitehead. I'm County Extension Director and Agricultural Agent in Halifax County. I'm here this morning to introduce Brian Royals, uh, Program Technician for Dr. Rick Brandenburg. Um, we are here with our virtual Chrome Ag Expo tour. Um, I want to welcome you all here and hope you enjoy the information we have for you on peanuts and thrips control with different products. Good morning. Uh, my name is Brian Royals and I'm Rick Brandenburg's Research Tech with Entomology and Plant Pathology. Today we are at the Peanut Belt Research Station in Lewiston to discuss what we're seeing in thrips. Uh, we have quite a few treatments out where we're looking at infurrow in combination with a 24-day post-plant application. So why are we controlling thrips? Thrips can play a major role in peanuts. Um, we can, they can limit your vegetative growth. It can delay your pot maturity. It can reduce yield from the damage caused by the feeding. So those are important things to remember. Also, it's very important to remember tomato spotted wilt. Thrips are a vector of tomato spotted wilt virus. So today what we have are multiple plots. They are two row plots. We have a control set. Then we have a control set with orthene. Then we have various other inferro applications followed by a orthene at 24 day um, post plant. These peanuts were planted on May 4th. Uh, emergence was around May 22nd. The orthene was sprayed uh, 28 days on every other row, but we every other plot, but we'll go through that as we do uh, treatment by treatment. So here we have uh, the untreated check. Damage is moderate. In previous years, we have actually seen uh, untreated checks uh, basically burn down to nothing. We use a, um, a scale of zero to 10 when we do our thrips rating. Zero being no damage, 10 being total death. This year, I would say for the most part in the controls, they were hitting last week's evaluations, I was seeing around uh, five to six on the scale. Today, when I rated this morning, I was noticing that the numbers were up a little bit more. Some were hitting around seven to eight. Um, basically, that is just because the peanuts aren't growing right now. Uh, we, have, we started off um, wet and cool, then we had a nice little period of warmth and peanuts jumped. Now we're kind of stopped again, which is going to impact on some of the chemical uptake as well. But I think if we get another good rain this week, these plants are really going to jump out of this damage by next week, and those numbers should go down. But as of right now, the ratings we're looking at, this was probably, I would score this around a 7 today for damage. So in this untreated plot, we have sprayed foliar orthene at 24 days. The plants are slowly starting to come out of the damage. I think within another week, uh, you'll see a big difference in this plot. So we were just discussing untreated and the amount of damage which could cause some concern. As you can see here, this plant here has a lot of terminal damage. It has, you can see where the old damage is still present. But the problem is these new trifles here have not opened yet. They're already damaged. Here, clearly this one has received a treatment. This is actually a orthene treatment. There's a big difference in that. And that's important to know because when you're seeing this type of damage, if the plant does not grow out of this damage, you're opening yourself up to virus um, and you may need to do a foliar spray. Over here, we have Thymet. Um, one thing about thymed that a lot of people notice and discuss is when you see phyto. But the plant will overcome that and it will not uh, cause any yield damage in the long run. So once the plants really take off, a lot of those leaves will shed off and you won't even notice that you had uh, thymed injury. So here in the thymed plots, when we go back to the rating system of the 0 to 10, Thymet has been performing around 3 or 4. Um, last week I was rating it at around a 3. 
today I rated it around a four. Again, the plant is just sitting. Um, it's not really uh, growing all that quickly. I think with the good rain, we expect to see that to change. So here we have thymet as well. But this time we did thymet with a foliar follow-up. Here, we I rated this plot around three. I'm still holding to a three this week. The plants look really good. That follow-up spray is, gives it that extra little uh, kick that it needs. Uh, phyto damage is moderate. Uh, again, I don't think it's going to be anything to worry about. Typically, we don't have any issues with that. Here we have vellum total. Last year was a unique situation with, uh, with vellum and Admire Pro for that matter. In 2019, it was hot and it was dry and planting. That was the first time we had really ever noticed uh, that the plants were not taking up the material. Therefore, control wasn't as great when compared to the other infer treatments. This year, I'm not seeing that at all. Uh, I think the plants are doing quite well. Again, the good soil moisture, they're gonna take off. On a rating of, on the rating scale of zero to 10 again, I gave this one right around a four last week. Today, I gave it a five. Some of the terminals are still damaged and they will need to grow out of that, but it shouldn't take much for that. All right, here again, we're in the vellum plots. This time, again, we came back with orthene over top 24 days later. Uh, last week, I gave this a rating of around four. I actually gave this one a three. It had a good uh, surge of new growth, um, which is a good sign that it was a positive treatment. Uh, sometimes the plants just need that extra boost. Rick is suggesting this year that you follow up all in furrow insecticide treatments with a foliar of acephate. The reason being is we had a very mild winter which probably contributed to a high overwintering population of thrips. And we haven't really seen a virus issue here in the southeast for about three years now. Rick feels that that is something that could change and we need to be prepared for that. So again, he is recommending that you come back with a 24 day over the top uh, foliar spray of acephate just for that insurance policy that you are covered um, for thrips damage that possibly could save you from having issues with tomato spotted well. Here we are in the Nia Admire Pro. Uh, again, these plots look really, really good. Uh, last week, they had a rating of around four. I uh, maintained the four again this week. I'm just not seeing a big change. But again, you can start to see a little bit of flush of new growth, which is a really good sign that something is happening and the, pro and the, the plants are able to overcome the thrips damage. Here we're looking at a Meyer Pro with the foliar follow-up spray, and I gave this one a four last week. I'm giving it a three this week. I do see a difference with the orthene. I see uh, some new growth coming out. The plants are a little bit larger, so I think that that was definitely a positive treatment for this. Here we are uh, with the AgLogic Infrared Treatment. AgLogic it was also known as Aldecar. It has been a very good product. Uh, typically, by now, the plants are really outgrowing a lot of the damage. In the case of Ag Logic, we're definitely seeing that. The plants are very strong. Uh, the control has been great uh, pretty much since cracking. Last week, I gave this one right around a three. Uh, today, in most cases, I gave it a two on the rating scale. Uh, you can definitely see the difference. Uh, the plants are large. The plants are very green very little damage, so that is a good sign. So carrying on with the other treatments, we follow up uh, AgLogic with the foliar of orthene as well. Again, outstanding job. Uh, the plants are large, they're green. Uh, you see very little damage. So again, I think there's definitely a positive response to both the infer and the foliar treatment. 